Creating navigation between the old home pages and the new dashboards can be a pain. That's why I've put together these tips. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. For this demo, I'm using an app from the App Exchange called the CRM Starter. If you want to follow along, head over to the App Exchange and download a copy. This app comes with a really basic dashboard already built, but it's built in the home pages. Let's say we want to add a new dashboard page and be able to navigate back and forth depending on what we want to look at. I've already gone into the settings, into the pages, and added a new dashboard page. You can do that here. Let's look at that page. Now, for demo purposes, I've set this up to look a lot like the current dashboard, but I've added a few more elements. What we want to do now is create a way to go from this dashboard page to our old home page, which is currently set as the default home page for most of our roles and serves a good purpose that way, but occasionally folks will want to look at this as well. So let's edit. First, we need to unlock that dashboard and we'll add a new button. Clicking in one of these cells, we can choose to add a button. And where we want the button to go in this case is going to be a page. And here we can choose one of the other pages in the app. I want to go to the default overview. Notice the little icons here. These little houses are the home pages in the old style, whereas this one with the little blocks, that's the new dashboard. If I choose this default overview, this button is going to take me directly back to that page. However, if my goal is really to bring them back to their user defined home page, I don't want to use this because this is locking in this specific page. If I want to go to the home page for that user, I want to use a link and actually put in the link to the main page, right? Which would be something like yourcompany.com slash DB. And then when you're on the home page, it's that nine digit DBID code that comes after. That's this number here. Anytime you're on the home page, you'll see that. So that will bring your user back to their user defined home page, as opposed to locking in a specific page through this menu. I will go ahead and choose a specific page with that default overview. And let's give it a little icon. There's a house in here somewhere. There we go. I'll call it home. Great. So we've got this on our dashboard now. That'll take us from this page to our other page. Let's look at it in that opposite direction. Relock the dashboard and now I can use that button. It's taken me to my page. You can see in the URL, that it actually has that hard-coded page ID destination. But if we remove that, that would have been just the default for my user role. I'm going to customize this page and we'll add a button bar. You may already have a button bar on your home page. I'll throw it over here on the left. My options here are somewhat similar. I want to access a page, but now when I choose this drop down, I don't see my dashboard. Oh no! How do I link from a home page to a dashboard when it's not in the menu? Well, maybe this is something QuickBase is thinking of changing. For right now, we can use the URL where we can type in that URL. Where do we get the URL from? I'll head back to my dashboard. This home button did open in a new tab, so I actually still have this open. And I can use the share link here and it gives me my link, this really long link here, and I can click copy and now bring that over to my homepage. Very, very long number. I'll also change that button label. These share links are tab specific. So right now we're on the opportunities tab. I created also a documents tab. So I've got two tabs here. Each of these will have a different share link I copied these earlier so I could show you that opportunities tab looks more or less like this, where it's got this unique tab ID in the center. 
the Documents tab has its own unique tab ID. So if I want to link directly to a specific tab, I want to pull that share link while I'm on that tab. If you want to go to the first tab in all scenarios, you know, whenever anyone clicks that button, regardless of if that group of dashboard pages has been reshuffled into different orders, you want them to just go to the first tab every time, you can actually omit the central part and it'll go to that main tab. Let's do that for our button. Back here in our button, we will modify this. And so that piece, if I take out this slash just after our app ID, all the way up to that question mark. If I pull that out, it will always go to the first tab in my dashboard. Save. And let's test that button. Sure enough, it's come right here to my dashboard. If I were to edit, let's say, move this one up front and lock that down. I'll just use my little button to get back my home. And now I click on that opportunities dash. It's taken me again back to that first tab, even though before it used to be the opportunities tab, now it's the documents tab. Pretty slick. Shift these back again. And let's add one more button to our dashboard. This button will be for our documents. We will have that open a link because I want to link specifically to that second tab in my dashboard. I still have one of these dashboards open. Let me refresh this. Go to my Documents tab and pull the share link from that tab. Copy it here in the top. Head back and pop that link in, which includes that tab location and in the center as I showed you before. Choose another color and the icon here. I'll make one last edit because I actually didn't like it opening in a new page. I want to open it in the same window. Now we can lock this and to our documents tab on that dashboard. Just a couple of tips when it comes to creating navigation between home pages, dashboards, and tabs within dashboards. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.